Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm TK Brew. We're gonna be ranking the Battle Royale classes so you know which ones to choose and which ones to avoid, so stay tuned. Well, happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, if you're watching this not on Halloween, at least you'll know why I'm dressed like a dragon right now. So let's start with probably the one I feel like is the worst out of all the classes to choose as the Battle Royale. Because one, I've, I've never actually seen anyone actually use it inside the Battle Royale for all the times I've played it. And I haven't really seen a point to even select it. So I've never even played with it. I've read it and then I was like, what? So Ninja, my bottom one, sixth place is a ninja there's so many better ones to choose but let's just go over why i don't exactly like it first thing is the grappling hook doesn't actually seem to be well worth it for me uh because you're gonna be pulling yourself along it, it just there's so many other ways to travel around the map a lot faster there's there's cars and helicopters and and gun, vehicles with guns on them it's like it's just just ignore the grappling hook. The only good thing about them is dead silence, which could be an advantage to you, but there's so many other different types of things that counteract the ninja set ability that it probably should be changed or tweaked to make it a little bit more viable. Coming in at number five is the defender. I've seen so many people use the defender because they think it's great to just pop the shield on, but what they don't realize is they still have to peek around to be shot at. So soon as, most of the time, as soon as they see someone pop their head up, you're going to shoot them in the head. So it's like it seems like it's a last resort. You drop it because there's you, you can't dodge or you haven't found cover or you're like in the middle of nowhere. And it doesn't really seem to work for people. So I haven't, it doesn't really work. And then the reinforced lets you do reduced damage from all sources except by gunfire so I'm guessing that really just means explosives and probably knives probably reduces it a little bit but and all realistically the, the the shield doesn't really work for most people at least what I've experienced because I've like ripped people apart even through the shield so number five is going to be the defender coming in at number four it is going to actually it's a toss-up for me between the clown and a medic, but I'm actually leaning more towards the clown. Can you believe that? The clown. I have been killed by by this the device. It summons zombies around, but one, you can outrun the zombies unless you're trapped in a corner, which that has happened for a few times, which I'm, I'm very sad to say that once they pin you into a corner, it's kind of hard to get out, especially if you're running low on ammo. But normally, you can hear it coming, you can avoid the zombies, and it doesn't, they, the zombies really don't do that much damage. You could take them out long before, before they even get to you. Unless you're using this as a getaway device, maybe, you, you drop it, you run like the dickens, and you just try to avoid everybody by summoning zombies to chase the other people away or to slow them down is the best thing I can see happening with this. But, but they're, they're, like I said, it's tied. It's, it's basically almost tied with medic. But this is just a little bit worse for me, just because I haven't, I haven't seen it used in a, a way that makes it seem like it's useful. And that obviously leads us to our third. Our bronze medal goes to the medic. I mean, I, people have dropped this, and I can still shoot them to death while they're standing inside the circle. But it does heal you if you are low it does give you a slight advantage over somebody else who may whose aim might be a little bit bad especially if you're dodging diving and moving around it could do quite a lot of balance to getting shot it also allows you to heal everybody else in your team so if you guys just got out of a big firefight you could heal your whole team up which is really good and if they're inside the circle you can pick up your teammates 25 percent faster I mean, like, when push comes to sub, if you're in the, the final circle and you're getting a whole bunch of people around you and you need to pick up your teammate really, really fast, I'm saying 25% faster on picking up your teammate is a couple seconds. That could be the difference between losing the game and winning the game. So this is why Medic, for me, is in third place. Coming in at number two. Number two is Scout. I love Scout to start. I always play, used to always play with Scout until I obviously switched to the number one thing. But Scout for me, 
was used for you you shoot it sends out an impulse and you can see where other people are which is amazing so if you're going into say a town or a place where you don't know if there's anyone there you don't see any sign of life you could shoot it it sends out a pulse and you will know if there's anybody in a very specific area it allows you to search houses a little bit safer it allows you to not worry as much if uh, you're going to be snuck up on um I found it really great in closer to the final circle when everyone's getting into those tight quarters. You shoot it, you know where everybody is, you know where to stand, you know where to set up your last stand for the battle for the end of the battle royale. Weird cut, sorry, and it it shows you the footsteps of other people. So if you are following someone or someone was in there a couple of seconds ahead of you, you would be able to see their footprints on the ground. So being able to see where other people are inside of buildings and where they are moving around is vital to winning games sometimes especially if you have no clue where this last person is you shoot this it highlights them and you're good to go finally the mechanic i know this this seems this seems weird why i would pick the mechanic over say some of the other ones but just just listen to me for one second just just, just hold your judgment to why i have mechanic Mechanic is, like I've called him a couple times, my little buddy, my flying monkey, he just sits there and follows you around. So if, you're, if you if um, you are unsure if there's people around you or if you know that there's somebody around you, you launch your little guy, he pops up, and he goes straight to the closest person, sends out an EMP pulse, which slows down and kind of uh, impedes the person that's trying to attack you. So it does it does the things of the zombies clown stuff. So it's it combines that. It also combines the scout, which allows you to find other people, especially if your your little buddy's flying around and sees somebody. So he can fly straight towards them, mark them, put a little red circle around them so you'll know where they are. And lastly, he, he can let you see where other vehicles are. So if you're looking for a vehicle or there's someone driving by but you don't know where they are within a certain area around you he can actually see vehicles so if anyone is hiding in a vehicle or you're looking for a vehicle he can see it so it it, it also sees uh, it also sees the defender's shield uh it sees lots of different things so if you drop your defender's shield anywhere near him he's going to see it so i feel like the mechanic is a balance between a whole bunch of things into one so for me, I would always, I always use the mechanic now. Being able to see, being able to basically in, inadvertently kind of confuse and stun people. And you can pop your little buddy if you're late game trying to find somebody and he'll go find it for you as long as you're close enough. So he's kind of like a little little dog that runs around with you maybe. I can, I can compare them to the Wizard of Oz and the little monkeys, but he's more like a little pet little dog. So for me, that is the rank I would do it. If you guys think this should be in a different order, I would love to hear your comments down below. I would love to have a, a conversation about why you think other things should be first place and other things should be last place. But for me, that's my order. Medic at the top. Scout number two. Sorry, not medic. <laughs> Mechanic at the top. Scout number two. And third place is medic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are having a good Halloween. Um, We'll be back later tonight on YouTube streaming some more COD Mobile, so I hope to see you guys there. If not, make sure you have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.